Now, let's remind you that the Department of State Services has said a team of joint security operatives raided the home of Yoruba Nation agitator Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Bo. Um, the DSS said 13 persons were arrested while several weapons were recovered. And joining me now to discuss the state of the nation, the arrest of IPOP leader Namde Kanu and the raid on Sunday Boho's home is Executive Director, Citizens Advocacy for Social and Economic Rights, Frank Titi. Good to have you join us, Frank Titi. Uh, thank you, and uh, always my pleasure. All right, so let's get your reaction to um, this uh, separate situation. First is the rearrest of Namde Kanu. And then we also saw the, um, the DSS now owning up, saying that he actually did um, go to the house of uh, Sunday Boho yesterday. So let's get your reaction to both. On the, with the understanding that both uh, individuals are asking for uh, self-determination. All right, thank you very much. It's just uh, the Nigerian state uh, trying to assert itself uh, that... Uh, uh, there is no other power, there is no other sovereignty other than the one that it has. Uh, it, the country has been faced with uh, doubts and descriptions that it's a failed state. It's not able to assert uh, its um, authority to the extent that we have uh, persons claiming parallel sovereignties, parallel governments, claiming that uh, they want to form their own uh, own state, yeah, other than the Nigerian state. So we have just come to see that uh, the might of the Nigerian state has just been ex exercised, even outside the shores of Nigeria in a foreign uh, country, even though we don't have all the details, the Nigerian government, Nigerian state, I, I must make that distinction, because y you can find, you find that those involved, particularly in this latest uh, raid on Sunday Boho's house, happens to be the agent of the state, that is the Department of State Services. Uh, so, it, to a large extent, it's, welcoming, it's a welcome development for those who want to see Niger the Nigerian state uh, remain and become a, a better government. But so, um, the, the accusation here for Sunday Boho, according to the DSS, is that he, he was allegedly stockpiling um, weapons for insurrection against you know, the country. And um, we've seen comments and statements put out by um, Nambi Kano on social media. The government has also blamed him for, this, for the several attacks in the north, sorry, in, in the southeast rather. So, when you look at at the reaction from the government on, for both cases. Talk to us about whether you think that this is a proportional response. Well, I, I, I try to make a distinction between the state and the government. The government has a great responsibility to the extent that uh, it should govern Nigeria well to, so that uh, we won't have elements who are renegades to the extent that they want to uh, carry out a secessionist movement. That is to that extent. But the Nigerian state must uh, remain. It's recognized as an international entity. And uh, one of the fundamental ways it can assert its existence is that there is no, it has, there is an ultimate power, the sovereignty that lies in the people. That has been eroded seriously with the secessionist uh, beats by Sunday Boho and uh, Namdi Kanu. But what, what have re uh, resulted to these, you know, secessionist movement is as a result that we don't have the kind of governance that, you know, instills, generates confidence in the, the, the polity, in the, to, to the extent that people will no longer feel that the, the, the elements of secessionists, uh, you know, will now be the ones that are attracting them from the Nigerian state. If Nigeria is governed very well, the, the people like Namdi Kanu and Sunday Boho will not be this popular. They will not be able to exploit this, you know, this uh, dissatisfaction, general dissatisfaction in the polity. So what has happened is we've seen agents of the state trying to assert that Nigeria still exists, it has a population, it has a sovereignty, it's a sovereign country of its own, irrespective of the discontentment that has, that has been, uh, you know, expressed by the Namdi Kano movement or the Sunday Igbohu. Now, these things came as a result of the gross form of insecurity that uh, Nigeria has experienced. 
Now, we have seen the gusto and the, 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 the expertise with which these state authorities, particularly the DSS or the, uh, the National Intelligence Agency, have deployed state resources in ensuring that a, 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 a citizen that is a threat to the Nigerian state was brought to book, and then a, a, an invasion of someone that is thought to be a threat to, the, to Nigerian sovereignty. One would have also seen, like it is popularly said, that these same resources ought to have been apl applied to assure Nigerians that we have a functional state, a functional Nigerian state in place. And uh, let me be honest with you, the average Nigerian wants to be under a Nigerian state that can protect him or her, that wants to assure him that there is a tomorrow. But when these, when these hopes are fallen, in the minds of the Nigerian citizen, they begin to look to these elements which, want, which are rather destabilizing. But it's, it's, it's good news, it's good news as far as I'm concerned, that the elements, of, I mean the agents of the state can assert their, uh, their force to the extent of bringing these uh, elements to, to order. But I hope that the government takes a cue that it doesn't, it doesn't need to allow the state to waste its resources in looking for criminals, uh, alleged criminals to this extent, but he should put uh, more Mr. Frank, in to, sorry, I, I have to interrupt so you. And I, I, for all of this. Sorry, I have to interrupt you. I really hate to do that, but I, I want to ask you because we've seen and the government has blamed Namde Kanu for those attacks on critical f um, facilities in the southeast. Um, sh do you think that the government should wait for things to deteriorate for that? Bearing in mind that Namde Kanu actually did jump bail. Jump bail. He was um, tr under trial when all of that happened. Um, Sonic Boho has also made statements whether he should, his house should be raided. He's not his house, and the DSS has said his house wasn't raided for those statements, but his house was raided because they believe he was stockpiling um, weapons. So, do you think that the, the federal government should have waited um, for things to deteriorate f further before reacting? I don't think so. I, don't, I do not think so. I think every responsible government will, will act in a manner that will safeguard the sovereignty of the Nigerian state. And that's what the DSS or the National Intelligence Agency have done. Now, the, the, the idea is this. Once there is an intelligence report to the extent that these, uh, the, these elements are stockpiling weapons or there is a particular personality outside this country that is threatening the stability of, Ni of Nigeria, these agencies ought to act. They don't need to wait. They are, but most importantly, they must act according to law. What the debate in the open space right now is that the, was Namdi Kano properly arrested and extradited? It is not a, it is not a very strange thing. In our country in history, we have had politicians being accused of plotting coups against, or against governments of Nigeria. And they fled this country and they were also arrested in, in, in abroad and subjected to proper uh, legal processes and were extradited. I'm talking about uh, uh, Chief Antonio Alohoro in Auro. He was extradited to Nigeria properly. So it's not as if the international uh, community was, was protecting Mazinam Dikanu. What is important is that we should be a government that governs according to law, and then those agents of the state who are acting very, uh, you, know, you, know, you know, very efficiently right now, who are doing everything possible to assert the authority and the sovereignty of Nigeria, must also go to the extent of assuring Nigerian citizens that it is better for us to live in Nigeria rather than following secessionist elements who don't have anything to offer. But when the Nigerian government continually fails to deliver on the the the, the or, or what go, or the responsibilities of government to the people, then we will continue to have these elements and be, becoming popular, and then we will not continue to also waste resources looking for them abroad or raiding their houses Aye. wherever in this in this country. And I think sincerely that will not be necessary if we have a government that is alive and well to its responsibility to the people. All right. Um, we will see how the government reacts to all of these comments coming from different quarters uh, and, and the calls on the agitations in the coming days. Um, thank you so much for talking to us as always. I'm Executive Director of Citizens Advocacy for Social and Economic Rights, Frank Tete. Thank you and always my pleasure.